it's basically a world exclusive and we've got it. Simply because whoever put this out on the internet, they got real squeamish real fast, but we're not associated with them. And once it hits the web, we're going to cover it because we're journalists here and we believe in that sort of thing. We've got indications of what the finale for the new Splash Mountain Tiana's Bayou adventure is going to look like. And if you thought this was going to put to rest the doubts and concerns of many, well, you really, really need to think again. Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. More fun than a log flume stripped free of a rabbit. We are here to explain entertainment, keep you ahead of the culture curve, and explainify what's going on with the theme parks, which, lo and behold, theme parks have now entered into the culture war. Who could believe it? Who could believe it? You'd think they just want to make money with those things, but no. Alas, the uh, victim of that, of course, is Splash Mountain, the most popular attraction in the world, according to polling. Yes, it still exists. It's still in Japan. But here domestically, we don't get to enjoy the Briar Patch any longer. We've been thrown into the bayou, at least a mountainous bayou that has no reflection on reality, not even in the cartoon. And we're going to examine today what the ending of the ride is going to look like. Spoiler alert, folks, if you want to save that finale for your first ride of Tiana's Rainforest Cafe Adventure, some call it the Jolly Green Bush, some people call it the Hobby Lobby Floral Isle Explosion, whatever you might call it, if you want to save that fun for when you are there in Disney one day, well, don't watch this video, truly, because as much as we love you, we're going to spoil this big time. Hang tight. I think this is going to be exclusive simply because this was up for a very short amount of time on the web. Jonas, in his uh, immense ability of capturing information, even when it is briefly up on the web, managed to do so. And so, Jonas, I'm, I'm very pleased that once again you have uh, hit it out of the park. Folks, we've got exclusive information about uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure, the replacement to Splash Mountain, and uh, we're ready to bring that to you. Jonas, I'm going to hand controls over to you as it's uh, your files. Well, not your files, but it's files that you have access to to, dip, to uh, play right. for us. So bring that up, Let's please. Go. All right. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, I suppose I'll do the talking too. First of all, I need to give credit to several people here who have helped me with this, uh, one of them being uh, Mr. Vash Sky. Uh, his, his face right there. Oh man, I'm sorry, Vash. That's the screen cap of you that, uh, that we got, but, uh, there's your smiling face. A, an account called, uh, Splash Mountain Archives has been bragging for six to seven months now that they've had digital renders of the inside of Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And this morning, uh, the Disney company released footage of their own of what the Tiana animatronic, uh, looks like. Pro, I don't know if you've got that, uh, handy. I've got a, I, I got enough here going I do, on. I do. Give me just a moment and I'll, I'll yeah. get that. So he's saying, I can now confirm that the Splash Mountain finale scene will be drastically altered. The showboat has been dismantled and will be replaced with the facade of Tiana's palace. This was the original tweet, as, again, seven months ago. Oh, wow. Uh, but this morning, uh, it was updated with an animatic here uh in the new finale scene we are invited to a mardi gras celebration with tiana's palace serving as the backdrop of the former former zippity lady showboat uh this is that same view uh right here but now this has been replaced with i'm assuming a stationary building as opposed to uh the uh little uh uh, steam wheel ship that used to be here rocking back and forth full of animatronics, a, a technological wonder that they were able to pull that off with all those heavy animatronics sitting on so, it. And so, now so it's let a, me, let me explain building. why this is problematic. Um, so splash mountain was an attraction. Uh, somebody help me. Somebody refresh me. I think it had nearly 70 or just over 70 different animatronics in it. A hundred. Okay. So over a hundred animatronics. Well, I, I wasn't including some of the things like the little turtles that had just a single hydraulic lift. But right. If we use like everything. <laughs> I like turtles. Where's, where's Tom right now with that? But uh, we're, we now know that this has how many animatronics going in it? It's like 16? 17. 17 animatronics? Total. 17. And, and we'll 17. have more updates here if you guys want to keep track here. As so here's, here's, what, here's what we all need to know about this finale. According to what we have seen leaked out now, this features... Six or seven animatronics? Eight? How many, Jonas? I, I think that maybe nine are in Nine animatronics in the final days. scene. So what that means is that throughout the rest of the ride, which culture accurately says over a hundred animatronics in the original Splash Mountain, that means that 
you're going to get six animatronics in all the rest of Splash Mountain. Bonkers. Six. This is a this is this was the most beloved ride in the world, according to polling. It still exists in Japan, by the way. They won't get rid of it. Disney hates them for it. Well, uh, not right. according to uh, Inside the Magic. Apparently, uh, this one from uh, C. Claude says, uh, Inside the Magic says, Japan closed Splash Mountain. Lol. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming sure Mike that's Zero, uh, Mike Zero will do, an, uh, do a video tomorrow. Um, yeah. So the, uh, okay, so you've got a huge attraction with so many scenes. There's no way that this is not going to be turned now into a projector a projector attraction with with fog machines. That's it. That's what Every, we're doing. Everything we used to complain about Universal is is now flip flopped. You have Disney becoming Universal and Universal becoming Disney. That is what is happening right in front of our eyes. That's a that's a very good point. Um, so I want to <laughs> I want to bring up some uh, other items here. Pros look like you've uh, you've taken over for me here. Go ahead. Well, the other thing I, I want to say, um, and, and you're welcome to take over if you'd like. The other thing I want to say is the iconography of these characters and these rides is so important. And so, for example, when you go when you go ride the Little Mermaid, the animatronics, because this was made by people who were had been at Disney for decades and they had common sense in their head. When you go ride the Little Mermaid, Ariel is in her normal outfits that you've seen, that you know. That's why you're going to ride the rides. The people in charge of this, this attraction now have decided that they're going to tell an all-new story with an all-new soundtrack, with all-new looks for the characters. There's Tiana in just a, a yellow dress. It's not her icon, like, iconic dress or anything like that. They showed the animatronics. Involved? <laughs> probably. They showed the uh, they showed the animatronics. I'll try to get that pulled up in just a second. Um, but the animatronic is not in, you know, the animatronics in this brand-new outfit. And there are people saying, well, that, that doesn't even look like Tiana. And they're spending this huge amount of money on making a ride that's based on this all new story. Why? Why would you not use the original soundtrack? Why would you not use the original designs of the characters? The original soundtrack this... is one of the best Disney animated soundtracks, too. Yes. It, I mean, all of this is just crazy. It's just absolutely nuts. And uh, we'll have we'll have that for you in just a moment, folks. I'll get that in just a second from Scott Gustin. Uh, Gotta have her in a see. suit. I've got a, Right, they have her in a. <laughs> they have her essentially in a yeah a safari uh, outfit. Uh, this is, uh, this is Tiana in her forties, uh, right here. It's just, I mean, why? Middle aged. Why Tiana. did you need to reinvent this? The character was beautiful. She had a great design, a fantastic dress, one of the best ones we'd seen in a long time. Again, the music for the movie was absolutely out of this world i mean really good music i i, I randy newman did the soundtrack and mm -hmm. uh that at, at the one end of the of best of villain songs ever right right uh, and i don't think that they're bringing back keith david for the ride maybe they'll surprise us all and actually do uh i got friends on the other side oh this thing's the drop, gonna... but uh but i don't think they're gonna do that so this thing Mama again Odie. This so, thing's going to break down. I mean, those are, I believe those are projected eyes. Um, um, so, so, no, I I'm think, not sure I about think, the eyes. Go ahead. Go so, ahead. As I understand it, uh, the, the Hong Kong park, uh, they stopped doing projector faces at least. And I think that they're so tired of all of these Instagram photos of completely blacked out faces on frozen, uh, the ride that's at Epcot, that they're, they're going to go with something that at least doesn't look, uh, horrifying when it shuts down. I think they'd rather have a a still face rather than all of this. Uh, and, and plus, there's problems with uh, with photos of screens not showing up well on Instagram. I think they've understood that social media is where these parks live as far as advertising goes. So I don't think they're doing as many projector faces anymore. But but this is this is new Disney. This is a Disney that they no longer have the common sense to say, yeah, we're gonna make this look like Tiana. Instead, they have these activists behind the scenes who say, not only are we going to de destroy Splash Mountain, the most popular ride according to our polling, period, in the world, but when we introduce this IP into Splash Mountain and we cut the animatronics down from over 100 to 16, we're also going to redesign the character such that it doesn't look like Tiana. So just here's everybody do this, this thought experiment. Look at this character, and if you did not know that we're talking about Tiana's Bayou Adventure, does that look like Tiana? Nope. And if it doesn't look like Tiana, then why are they reinventing the wheel? Why? 
you have something. This is what we continue to see across entertainment. It's now in the Disney parks. It is overthinking things to a to a, a ridiculous level. And it's just, this is, these people don't know what they're doing. And it's going to ha- it's going to have a real impact on the finances of the Disney parks domestic. I, I, I just want to point out that Sharita Carter, who was the Imagineer that was just pointed out here, she's been around for a long time, has worked with um, probably both Tony Baxter and I know for sure uh, Joe Rohde. Um, I've met her personally on a few occasions. Um, it's very interesting that that she's tied to this. I'm not sure. I mean, she's she's definitely she's working me. under she's working under Carmen Smith, with her, which I think is really the problem. Uh, okay, because she's she's definitely describing a very miraculous uh, performance by this animatronic. This is one of the newer generation animatronics. So um, it's just it's of it's of incredible quality. The, the question is, is this going to sell the end of the ride? Because the finale, because there's so little in it, so sparse throughout, as you've described, this finale has to sell it. If you if you have, you know, Tiana, an alligator, and maybe a few other things, they really have to bring it. Because one of the most disappointing aspects of the Pandora boat ride, which is what I'm going to call it, um you're disappointed in that entire thing because it's all screens until the very end. And then you have a shaman that now has a history of breaking down regularly at the very end of that attraction. And while initially impressive, both for its size and its ability, it, 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 it's something that now is, you know, having a breakdown cycle that's far too often. Right. And it's also uh, got a big slash in its neck that they're struggling to repair. Yeah, well, that's the other problem with the versus all the older materials and the and the static things that they used to do, and and some of the other neat compliance things that were built into animatronics from way back. Um, those things don't exist anymore. You have a lot of precision movement things that do, um, you know, some uh, uh, some more robot like things rather than uh, you know the 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 give that was built into the other automatronics. I could talk about this for hours, but everybody will be bored. So. Well, um, I will I say just, to this this I character know. with the drums. This is this is a character, to my knowledge, that has been invented for the ride. It's not a real character from the from the movie or any oh. other Princess and the Frog, you know, stuff. It's just new, and and then and that's the kind of stuff that you know maybe it'll work, maybe it'll be fantastic. But you talk about some red flags, and again, thank you to uh, Jonas and Devash for catching this. Right. And, well, and then I'll also point out. Available. There were other people that helped, but I'm not sure they want their names attached to to, uh, leaked information right now. Uh, But uh, if we can go through some of this, um, uh, if we if we go to the original uh, image of Splash Mountain real quick, I'll take back over for a second. Yeah, take back over. I I do have one quick question before we move on. Um, Do you think that they repurposed that animatronic and was supposed to be uh, Tiana's mom? Well, that's, that's what the it question. Looks like. uh, and everything. Uh, Tiana's mom is in the background of that scene uh, okay. there with uh, uh, with the uh, the Imagineer. So I, it does look a lot like it's supposed to be Tiana's mom, um, and and the face is really close. Um, but yeah, she, my, she my does understanding look older than she should look. My understanding too is that the Tiana animatronic is a repurposed Belle from uh, uh, Disneyland Paris. So they've they've repurposed that, reskinned it. Um, that's my understanding. Yeah. Uh, so if you look over here on the left hand side, uh, this is the Bayou Boys over here. Uh, and I, I think that we have what they're being replaced with. That would be uh, Eudora, which we saw the back and whether or not you guys realize that you saw the back half of her in the background of that uh, Imagineering uh, video. And then, of course, uh, Charlotte LaBeouf uh, right here. Uh, a hilarious character. I don't know a, a woman who loves Princess and the Frog that doesn't love uh, Eudora. So right there, we've got two animatronics then uh here we have uh, lewis the alligator which that actually looks like that's going to be a very impressive animatronic uh tiana here i'm hoping this is not a final sorry even close to uh the final design i think there was a flapper costume that was mentioned at some point uh please don't well there there was a dress and somehow i'm missing the photo but uh you did have it here so this is the same scene, I think, as the other one. So maybe Naveen and uh, uh, Ralphie, I almost call them Cristiano Ronaldo for some reason. Um, he, I think they're going to be behind uh, Lewis and, and Tiana here. So we've got four animatronics in this space, uh, six if you count uh, the mom and uh, 
Charlotte there. And uh, right here, the king and queen of Meldonia, along with Big Daddy, Charlotte's father, are speculated. Uh, We're not seeing to... that one, Jonas. Can you oh, pull that up? Yeah. Or sorry, you switch I screens screen. here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the king and queen of Meldonia, along with Big Daddy, which is Charlotte's father. That is the one that's voiced by John Goodman. Uh, are speculated to be added just across from Charlotte and Eudora to fill in the space of the finale. They're supposed to be stage where the mule cart is uh and if we go over here this is the mule cart uh right here so that is uh let's see three on that pl platform uh going up to five for the mom in there and then four on that so that's nine animatronics that's not counting um mama odie who is at the top so we've got 10 so that leaves seven animatronics for what is a very long ride uh left over I think Tiana appears at least twice. Maybe Lewis appears two other times, according to concept art. So whatever they're doing with this ride, if if that 17 animatronics figure is accurate, they don't have many animatronics. The only other thing they've talked about is mist and quote unquote Bayou Magic with uh, what they're doing with the mist in this ride. So a hundred and something animatronics of animals, amazing soundtrack to... I don't know. So they better, uh, they better knock it out of the park because this, uh, if this ride is a failure, you know, with the Marvels, if it fails, it, it leaves the box office quicker and nobody watches it on Disney plus. If you take the most popular attraction in your park and it fails, then you've got 20 years of very poor capacity issues created from that, as well as a major eyesore. So, you know, anyway, Yep. Um, <laughs> and I'll also add that um, this is this is moved to summer of 2024 now, whereas it even as of a week ago, they said it was going to be late 2024. So I get the feeling that they are now rushing to get this thing up in at least Walt Disney World in Florida. So I, I wonder if they're moving resources off of the uh, California staff to move them to Florida for on a temporary basis in order to get this thing done on time. Um, I I don't want to speculate too much on their logistics here, but looking at Moana 2 being repurposed, looking at the fact that they were also looking to move Lilo and Stitch to theaters, uh, there's a lot of moving things to theaters that's going on here. A lot of shifting things around. Uh, they're a little bit desperate when we look at their schedule. They're now listing Ahsoka being added to Star Tours as three separate items on their list of attractions coming to different parks around the world. So they're desperate for any win they can get. So I, I think that in the end, somehow they're still rushing. Rushing I'd towards collapse. I would be curious to know how much money they're spending on this. Like to rip out Splash Mountain and replace it. Because, I mean, they, they already took a massive hit on what they spent and did not make back, not nearly, on Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. Their parks have had diminishing returns over the last several years because people are having less and less interest in them. Uh, it, well, I mean, the rumor has no been way they turn a profit on piece. this. The rumor's been $250 million a piece uh, at the two parts. Culture, have you heard anything different than that? Uh, though, um, no. Uh, what, I, what, I, what I keep hearing is that is that they are they are constantly having their budget shaved along the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. which which is how you go from hundreds of animatronics to seventeen. Well, so. well, to just point out that this was a ride that was always had a line because it was a fun ride. So this is not a ride that was dying off. This is not yeah. something in the corner of the park. This is not Carousel of Progress where they just abused it for a very long. Well, they did abuse this ride for a very long time, uh, but this is this is something that was popular. So when we talk about the $60 billion where some of it has been earmarked for capacity, okay, all they're doing is destroying things and replacing them. They're not building anything new. Right. Well, they're incapable of it. And because they have uh, shook loose the people who used to be able to maintain things and they lost the ability to reproduce parts. And I mean, we can get into a whole litany of problems that they have behind the scenes. You know, they have to make them cheaper. They have to make a move to various types of apparatus that, you know, the rides were not prepared to help along. I mean, the vast majority of animatronics still and the older, older ones are, are moved and motivated by a different form of hydraulic pressure, whether or not it be nitrogen gas or traditional hydraulics or even compressed air. 
in fact, you can still hear the hiss uh, behind the release of, of of said you know motion ability. The the this is this this is a whole series of problems that they they can't make up for. They have allowed they've allowed these parks to get beyond their control because they have very poor meritless leadership, and that's the kindest way I can say that. And this isn't to make a quick correction. Um to what was being said a minute ago mm -hmm. uh, not by you not by you culture you're, you're brilliant uh, and your beard's amazing um <laughs> you got nice hair too uh but uh this this was not a lateral move this wasn't just like not adding something and instead just you know taking away something and replacing it no this is this is a net negative this is a net loss oh, yeah. i think because Agreed. you, you took Agreed. this I'll as take you just said this is this is a uh to to your point culture this was a um an attraction that was incredibly popular. Well, uh, you know, the one thing I'll add to that, Andrew, and maybe you can speak to this as well. The capacity on this attraction was outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of people at once. Yeah. So you could, Disney... even though you had that line, you could get a good chunk of people. It, the, the line was continually there because it was a popular ride, but that's a good thing for you. That's mm. good for business. Replacing that with something that's not going to be a fraction as popular more than likely I, i'm willing to be proven wrong i just don't expect that i will be right. in this instance um that's a net loss and oh, you're already yeah. taking net losses just annually on on diminishing uh lines and diminishing attendance at your parks to quote you're from overspending Frog. on this stuff that nobody cares about like what what the actual blue hell are you doing <laughs> disney to quote from brer frog one last time you can't run from trouble ain't no place that far he just didn't know the trouble was Disney. And we have finally gone down the flume. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you didn't get wet on this one. Hope you didn't get wet at all, but we had a good time. Folks, you can help us have a good time. Consider clicking the like button, share, subscribe, and when you click it, you stick it to the algorithms. It is indeedly doodly the notification bell. Drop a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. Are you in favor? Are you against this Splash Mountain change? And will it always be Splash Mountain just with a different name and a whole bunch of plastic flowers thrown on top of it? We would love to hear your thoughts. Folks, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, keep learning, keep growing, and as always, keep having fun.